this is my first successful, after like six attempts, um, of making a real engine. Not one of those cheesy oscillating engines, but this is a real piston engine. Of course it doesn't use gasoline, it uses air pressure. Um, but this is my first successful model of a real working engine. Now, this uses a 2x2 two two brick for um, the piston. If you look here, this is the key to making a good engine. See, here is the valve just made out of this um, two by two brick with two holes. If you use one hole, it's fine. It won't be as powerful because the valve won't be as big, but no biggie. Well, yeah, it is no biggie. Um, and then the valve that moves itself is the same thing. And on the outside, it's the same thing. And this is the key to making a valve. Um, so, uh, all of my other attempts did not have this valve type, but this does. And the reason why it works is because each of the blocks is the same, and therefore the blocks um, do not let any air leak through the valve. And that is extremely important for those of you that have tried and failed multiple times, like me. Then I stumbled across this little engine um, that I found on some website and saw that it had the same pieces throughout and that is what made it work. Um, now this engine moves up and down it has a, uh, I don't know what you call it, I think it's a bore three bricks, um, and the valve moves up and down, like, half of that, so, one and a half, I don't know how much it is, it's like, one and a half bricks or something, I don't know, you'll figure it out when you build your own engine, so, see if I can get this thing running. Just a reminder, um, I'm using a high power shop vac. Um, and this engine in particular requires a lot of pressure, um, or a lot, like a lot of power from a shop vac. Um, not too much power, you might explode it, but just enough power, um, just to let you know. And this is working off of, um, pressure.